It is officially the morning of my surgery and I just washed my hair fresh because you can't get your hair wet Well, not just your hair you can't get any water in your eyes so you can't like shower because I think that includes steam as well so I can't wash my hair for a few days so I wanted to make sure it was fresh so I'm not going to get greasy hair Ooh, we are off Casper is very kindly driving me kindly I actually got to take the whole day off work for this so I'm pretty happy I was like guys you cannot make me go into work my girlfriend's having surgery it's very, very serious, serious. Surgery. Uh, little do they know it's only 15 minutes. That doesn't matter! And it's completely safe, apparently, right? Not completely. You told um, me it was safe! Like 99%, something like that. What? It's very safe. 99 seems like good odds. What's the problem? I've got my sunglasses. What? But you were the one who made me be on time. So, welcome to the car. I know this isn't sponsored by Audi, but I am a brand ambassador and if I, if I could get them some free sponsorship in Amber's vlog, then I'm gonna do so. Uh, sorry, Amber. I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything, don't worry. What are you doing? Nothing. So, I have to wear these for like a week when I go outside after surgery. I also couldn't wear makeup today or perfume. Is it weird for you to be back on a vlog? I don't know. You've never acted so normal on a vlog. Usually you act kind of like weird and when I try to film you, but because this is your vlog, you're yeah. just being you. I think that's it. I think that's you're made it. for this. Oh, hell yeah. But I, I act different, don't I? Yeah, you I'm do. Put on this that, you, I get like, I don't know how to act around you because camera Casper isn't normal Casper. So, like, the way we normally vibe off each other, I What am I like, normally who is like? This person? Okay, I'm gonna pretend to be you. Hey, Casper. Can we have sex? <laughs> so, I'm actually like very anxious this morning to a level that, like, I really feel it in my belly. You know, when you feel your stomach really moving, mm. I thought I might actually use the toilet. Do you have IBS? I actually didn't, but I thought I would. Yeah, I get, I get a real movement. I'm like, have you seen uh, in between South Africa and Zimbabwe, or it's near South Africa, maybe it's in Zimbabwe, the Vic Falls? It's yeah. like one of the biggest waterfalls in the world. The one where you can swim off the edge. Yeah, that's how my bowels are when I get nervous about things. But you're fine. If you're not feeling that, then you're fine. And then I get it more in my chest. I have have that, I have that. It feels like I'm doing an exam. So what you should do, I, do I have it with me? I was doing the breathing app on you Calm. Have, no, but I have this other. Where's this trinket? Casper mm -hmm. has like a bunch of kind of fidget spinner things to help with his... Oh, here we go. ADD. ADD? One of the many Thank acronyms. You. I might, maybe I should do this while they're doing my surgery. You are awake and they give you eye drops to numb your eye and you can just see like white light. You can feel pressure on your eye. Obviously you can't feel pain, but I'm just, I'm just not looking forward to those minutes where I'm lying there awake. Okay, we're walking up. It's gonna be there in three minutes. There's such a funny difference cold, eh? in the way that I'm dressed and the way Casper's dressed. Look at Casper. And bear in mind, he didn't come from anywhere. He got ready from home like this. I was like, it's not a fashion show. I'm in a big puffer coat because I'm dressed for comfort, not fashion. Ooh, I don't it's know. so cold. Who are you trying to impress? Your vlog. Only patients. You're allowed in with me then. Really? Yeah, no, you are. I saw someone getting it before. Oh, take it. Oh. I don't know what to press. Hi, how are you? Hi, good day, how are you? Casper made a point here that the two people at the front are wearing glasses. What does that mean? <laughs> I've had to say goodbye to Casper and I've been sent off in this lift on my own. Yeah. So I've just been given my bag of eye drops and drugs. My little surgery thing. Putting on a hat. A hairnet rather. She called it a hat. So I'm going to call it a hat. I should have brought a hairband, but I didn't. Let's try and do this without tying my hair up. She just asked me if I wanted a diazepam, and the answer is obviously yes. It's going to make me less anxious, which I need because I'm very, very anxious right now. Okay, down again. I have been left in this room on my own for five minutes, and then she's going to pick me up and they're going to take me in. I want this diazepam to kick in. My hands are shaking. I chewed it. They said to chew it so it would kick in faster. I feel like they forgot about the diazepam when they ran in. They were like, do you want diazepam? I was like, yes, please. I think that was my surgeon. He just told me that I need to keep looking at the green light the whole time and to keep looking straight. And he's gonna come and get me in a few minutes. I'm gonna speak to you guys on the other side. Why do you have to be awake during that? That's like, crazy. I... Did you film it? No, I wasn't allowed to film it, but like, you lay there and then he puts these like like clockwork orange things to open your eye, puts numbing drops in. He did the right eye, then the left eye. Where you look and the laser comes down and you have to focus on the green light. And then it's like flashing, you have to stay looking. Yeah. And then he does it to the other eye. Yeah. And it's numbing. Like, but 
And then, so the laser basically creates this lenticule which then falls out of your eye. So this eye was fine, it was like really uncomfortable and not, it's, it's just not an enjoyable experience. Yeah. Because you're like awake and you're like, oh my god. And when he pulled out the lenticule, I could feel this film, like I could see the milky film going across. And then this side, as soon as he touched it, it hurt. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, that hurt. And then he put numbing drops in it and I was like, oh my god, that hurts. Yeah. And then he had to get like a different anaesthetic and put it in my eye, like a stronger one. Yeah. And then I was just like... And you can see. Um, it's blurry. Yeah, it's like... It's bl blurry. I can read the Sony though, which I probably... You can see people coming and you can walk here. I can see, I'm not blind. Yeah, but you, I haven't I been blinded. you said you were going to be... No, um, it's blurry. It's, yeah, it's blur it's all very blurry. Yeah. And you need to help me with my, my all my eye drops. Yeah. Wow. I think though it's just like my body is good. Like I was so anxious, and now it's just like a release of all this anxiety. Yeah. Oh my god. Are you feeling better now? I was like, I felt like I was crying during the, op like yeah. the operation. I need my heart rate to just. You're fine. It is done. You seem relaxed now. I'm still. Yeah. You look really chill. <laughs> Inside, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, um, you're good. I'm good. And then I came down and I was like, where is he? Oh, really? I mean, luckily. And like, then I went to go text you that I could not read a word on my phone. Oh, god. You would close have up is not good. I think you are on Valium, otherwise you would have freaked out. Because I went to, to get some food. I know. Because it was earlier than an hour. Yeah, it was, he told me it was going to take an hour. I know, and it was 40 hour. minutes. 40 minutes, yeah. Yeah. Time flew when I was just, I was just chilling. I Meanwhile, I, that you in the worst. It was a it was a traumatic experience actually. Yeah. That but I, it's over forever. It's over. Mm, not in, re oh, reading glasses till I'm at least forty or fifty. You need reading glasses. Everyone will need reading glasses. So that's because your eyes naturally deteriorate. Oh, but you won't need them now. Oh. No. Really? What do you mean? And now I'm going to wear these on a regular side for a week to protect my eyes from yeah, dust. Cool. They were all like multiple people were, like the UK. Yeah. Oh, that was that freaked me out. I, I, do you know, I don't know why you're not allowed in there with me because I wish I could just have you like holding my oh, hand. I would not have wanted to be there. Yeah, I don't think he would have wanted to see it actually. <laughs> I can't like him yeah, cutting no, into no, my no, eye. No. God. Yeah, they kept going. Are you okay? Are you sure you want to leave? Why? Can you like just fall over now? No, just for like anxiety. Oh yeah, but, but and, like because we're driving yeah. home, I'd rather just be with you in yeah. our car than. Um, here's oh. your. Even though the world is like very blurry right now, I can see words that I would not have been able to see with my glasses. Um, I feel a lot more calm now. I was like shaking. Feeling good. I feel quite happy actually. Yeah. That's a him. Yeah. So I just got home. I've made the room very dark because I can I don't have to have sunglasses on when it's dark. And Casper has laid out all the items I need. These are the ones I need every hour. These are the ones I need every four hours and these ones are as required. They're like lubricants. And these are the ones are anaesthetic if it starts to feel stingy. Um, it's probably very dark but I just did my first round of eye drops. I did all of them and my eyes definitely feel a lot better. I think the lubricating ones really helped. I've set timers on my phone for every hour for one of the drops and for four hours so after putting in all my eye drops i can now be down here without sunglasses on which is quite nice now because they were quite uncomfortable before because now it doesn't feel like i've got anything in my eyes as before i felt like i had like a contact lens stuck or something they actually feel completely fine and my vision is definitely better than it was a little while ago it's still quite blurry but it's pretty exciting things seem to be going very well I just had to put my sunglasses back on downstairs because just, the light was getting a bit much. So I think I'm just going to stay in here for the rest of today and listen to an audiobook. What's happening? Lit a candle since I'm going to be in here a while. I'm getting her at hand. Ha. <laughs> I'm getting Casper to put on a Harry Potter audiobook for me because Harry Potter is my comfort. Put on Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter was a highly unusual boy in many ways. For one thing, he hated yeah. the summer holidays. He really did. Well, this is what you do for the next five hours. Well, to do it I guess. Yeah, Maybe a few naps. And he also happened to be a wizard. Thank you. Aww. I love you. Update. So I just had a nap. It's basically been nearly four hours since I was listening to Harry Potter and napping. I woke up and I can 
basically see. Okay, looking at my phone is still a little bit blurry, but I can read what's on it. It is blurry, but I can read it. And things far away, everything is like, I can pretty much see everything. Like, there's still like a little bit of blur and things like aren't super, super crisp. But like, I woke up and I was like, oh my God. Like the blurriness from earlier is nearly completely gone. It's just like the weirdest, weirdest thing when I woke up, when I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I can like see. I love donuts. Uh. <laughs> I'm putting on my glasses for the first time. I'm really like, I don't know why I'm really nervous about it. <gasps> Does it look weird? Let me show people what it looks like. I did try the other day then. Look at that. I can see and I don't have to take my contact lenses out. I'm gonna wake up and see. Let's see, hopefully. And I have to report that I can it still see. Morning after my I've gone for a walk out in the world. Still the day after my surgery. Oh my god. Like, I'm looking at all the street signs and car license plates far away that I can read. I'm like so impressed that these are just my eyes. It's like honestly insane. Like, I can't believe I can read a bus that's that far away. Holy shit. I'm just walking around like with a massive grin on my face, just looking at things. It's like amazing. So, I just had my post op checkup. There were two different people I had to see. First of all, there was like an I did an eye test and the second guy checked like the incision and everything. Turns out I've got better than, oh sorry, better than 2020 vision. So very exciting. He said my incision is healing fine and I'm booked in for another appointment in two weeks. It's been nearly three weeks since my surgery. So I thought I'd just give you an update on how it's going now. More of the details um, of the actual surgery and payment and what procedure I actually got. Cause I don't think I said it at the beginning. I'm just doing my makeup for Valentine's day cause it's Valentine's day. I got a procedure called Relex Smile. Laser eye surgery wasn't something I was actually considering getting, like it wasn't really on my mind, like I, it was kind of in the background, like I thought maybe I'd get it one day. And then when I went to the opticians in October, just for a vision test, my optician after the test said, oh, have you considered laser eye surgery because you'd be eligible, your vision's kind of stabilized over two years. My vision was before I got it corrected, minus 4.5 in both eyes with a slight astigmatism on one eye. It basically only changed by minus 0 0.25 over two years, which meant that I was eligible because I think, yeah, you do need your vision to have stabilized because obviously they don't want to correct it and then it get worse. So he said, why don't you go to Optegra, which is where I did end up getting it done. So I booked in, first of all, for a free consultation, which was virtual, where I spoke to a lady over Zoom, basically asked me for all my prescription kind of information and went through the different kind of procedures because there are several, LASIK and LASIK. There's something called PRK. I think there's lens replacement where they like put in a whole new lens and there's Relax Smile, which is what I got. And Relax Smile is basically the newest kind of technology, like not like super new, obviously, like they've tested it. The difference is that with LASIK and LASIK, they cut a flap in your cornea, so this bit here, cut a flap, open up the flap, and then a laser comes down and like, I don't know what it does, resurfaces it, and then the flap is closed, and that's your vision corrected. But there's a longer healing time with that. You can also suffer with dry eye a bit more. Okay, I'm just interrupting myself because upon editing this video, I realized that when I explained the difference between LASIK and LASIK and Relax Smile, I didn't actually get round to explain the difference between the others and Relax Smile. So as I was saying, with LASIK and LASIK, it creates a flap. So the flap gets cut first over your cornea, it gets opened up, then a laser comes down, resurfaces the shape of your eye or something, and the flap gets closed, and that's your vision corrected. And that's why there's problems with dryness and things because of the flap. So with Relax Smile, there's no incision first, the laser comes first. And so I remember it being about maybe 30 seconds on each eye. You feel like a bit of pressure, but it's like fine, it's a tiny bit uncomfortable, but the laser creates what is called a lenticule, which basically creates a bit of tissue that needs to be removed. So the laser creates this little bit of tissue in each eye. I don't know how it works, it's magic. And then the surgeon creates a tiny little incision on the edge of the cornea, about two to four millimeters thick, so not a flap like the others, just a tiny little incision. incision. Then the surgeon pulls out this lenticule, this bit of tissue, which magically, once that's removed, your vision is corrected. Anyway, back to 
scheduled programming or myself talking. And then I went and booked in for an in-person consultation. I liked the look of Optegra, it was just off Harley Street. It seems reputable because my optician recommended it. I kind of didn't look anywhere else after my in-person consultation because I was just comfortable. The initial consultation, no not the, not the virtual one, the in-person one, which is also free, your consultations are all free. I had various different eye exams, so they checked my prescription for themselves and so did like an eye test some other different exams i don't i can't really tell you exactly what they were but i think they tested like the thickness of my cornea as well because you need to have good cornea health so that was with a few different people and took a few hours i saw like three different people for the exams and then one of the ladies basically ran me through all the options and said based on everything we've seen about your eyes etc we think you'd be a good candidate for Relax Smile. And that was kind of the one I wanted to do because of the shorter recovery time and I'd read like good things about it online. And then I met the surgeon who, if I chose to do the surgery, would be doing my surgery. And by that point I didn't really have many questions. Like I feel like I'd researched everything I needed to online and I'd spoken to all these people. So I was kind of like, nice to meet you. Well, it sounds pretty good. You've done this before, I'm sure it's fine. And then I spoke to a lady who does the finances and so she basically told me how much everything costs etc how would you like to pay and I said I would like to pay in cash but you can do finance options so how much it costs the procedure is per eye but it ended up being in total about £4,900 I had to pay a deposit of £500 that day to secure the booking the following £4,491 up to a week before my surgery. But if you wanted to do finance, 0% interest, and I think, so I think the cost for that was around 150 pounds a month for two years, something like that. So like if you're considering getting laser eye surgery and you're not sure about the cost, then that's worth looking into. But if you're not sure about it and you're considering it, I would just recommend going for a free consultation, like booking in for a virtual one, and then a physical one, because it's definitely worth doing and seeing how you feel. Obviously, there was that moment coming out of surgery I was like oh my god like, there was a tiny bit of pain and there was like a tiny bit where you had to put more numbing drops I like would do it again in a heartbeat like it wasn't even like severe pain or anything it was fine it was like a little pinprick I don't know so I used all my eye drops and I had to use some of them for up to a week and then I'm still using the ones for dry eyes as and when I need them and I haven't really had a problem with dry eye sometimes when I look at screens for too long I have to like look away and come back and use my eye drops the lubricating ones because it does get a bit dry but that was to be expected and I also did have not problems this eye was slightly worse than this eye but that's pretty much completely evened out now and I went for my two week checkup was it two week checkup yeah two week checkup last week my incision was completely healed I can essentially resume all activities not like contact sports like rugby but I don't play rugby so I was like that's not an issue I can swim I haven't gone swimming yet I do want to but overall I would literally do it again in a heartbeat I feel like like waking up and being able to see is the craziest thing in the world but the way I used to live before feels so archaic having to put these things in my eyes to see and going through the hassle of glasses and lenses etc so if you're considering doing it definitely definitely book for a consultation it is honestly life-changing and i i've completely adjusted to it now it's the best thing ever thanks for watching bye